The new millennium has been a turbulent one for Real Oviedo. The Spanish club has overcome a very public battle to stay in existence. And now those who came together to save the Blues are breathing a sigh of relief as they celebrate the club's 90th anniversary. We're living a dream with these wonderful fans. We're celebrating 90 years of the club, a club of great tradition in Spain and in Europe. We've just celebrated with one of our main fan groups, the Samaca Army. We are here uh, for the 90th anniversary of uh, Real Oviedo. It's been incredible just to see the support here and, and the sea of blue, the gratitude of, of the folks here. You know, we've seen uh, people come up and, and thank us and um, it's just been amazing. Facing extinction, an online campaign attracted benefactors from across the world to help save the financially stricken Oviedo. My wife and I are shareholders. In 2012, we heard on Twitter about this club, Real Oviedo, that was needing support to stay alive. And we thought, well, we would be devastated, I think, if our Portland Timbers dissolved. And so we thought no group of supporters should have to suffer something like that. So. We, uh, we bought shares. Now we're here. <laughs> Via his son-in-law, Arturo Elias, the campaign eventually came to the attention of Mexican billionaire Carlos Slim, who injected enough money into the club to secure its future. People from 90 different countries bought Real Oviedo shares bit by bit. It was a worldwide action. It was truly crazy. We were two weeks away from disappearing. Now, three or four years later, we're welcoming people from all over the world. They've helped save the club. It's easy to see why Real Oviedo received such support. A warmth emanates from the city and the region that is difficult to resist. Both the city and the club are very unusual. A lot of people that come to Oviedo fall in love with the city, and those that watch the football also fall in love with Real Oviedo. Produce is the backbone of Oviedo and Asturias, alongside its famous cider. The region also produces characters like club captain Diego Sever. Diego is God. Diego is God. <laughs> Look, Diego Severo is, is I think, someone who, who symbolizes Oviedo so well because he came through at a time when the club was in the third division. And there's a famous comment where, where he said, Look, I don't know what's going to happen, but I can tell you something, I'm not going until we get up, in, until we get promoted. It was very impressive that everyone in Oviedo took part. And I think that made people on the outside feel like they also wanted to belong to Real Oviedo. This global reach is what makes us different. Real Oviedo is truly a club of the people. Two promotions mean the Blues have now climbed back to the Segunda Division, wearing a special all-black kit to commemorate the 90th anniversary. Oviedo is a, is a historic club, traditionally a, a first division club, uh, a club that represents the capital of the region of, of Asturias, a club that has a very important fan base. Not being in the first division is, is not just bad for Oviedo, I think it's bad for Spanish football. The club coming from where we did is doing incredibly well. We're financially stable, which isn't easy these days. The people are happy, and there is complete unity amongst all the political, economic and social levels of the city. I think Oviedo have been extremely lucky that not only have they got um, owners or part owners with, with the Castle Group coming in with Carlos Slim and, and of course his son-in-law Arturo looking after the club in terms of the finances but actually taking a genuine interest, a genuine desire to take this club somewhere. We are now in a good position in the second division and hopefully we'll go up to the first. If we did it this year, it would be wonderful. If not, we're not in that much of a hurry. What will be, will be. To sum it up, I don't know when, but Oviedo will play in Europe. Everyone is enormously excited about where this might go. Everybody's hugely optimistic about the future. I think Oviedo can get into Europe. And, and the day that Oviedo go to Milan or Manchester or Liverpool or... I mean, the day that we go to the Bernabeu or, or, or the Camp Nou is going to be incredible. And where's it going? Up, oh, that's for sure. Right now, though, Real Oviedo's very existence is reason enough to celebrate.
Every year we celebrate this anniversary. We have an annual day where the people can celebrate in large numbers. They can have a party with everyone and have a great time. We might not have had a 90th birthday. And then there's also something wonderful about seeing Americans, Belgians, English, Argentinians, uh, French, turning up and watching Oviedo. And, you know, these people didn't just buy shares, they became Oviedo fans. The city is beautiful. The support for the football here is incredible. If there is a soccer city, Spain, it feels like it's here. <laughs>